Britney's two-year run at Planet Hollywood Las Vegas kicks off next week. It's, of course, a big undertaking for Britney. She's still deemed unfit to run her own life. In February of 2008, Britney was placed under a conservatorship, which means a guardian has been appointed to manage her financial affairs and daily life. In this case, it's her dad, Jamie, who pulls the strings. This extreme legal measure usually occurs when the subject has physical or mental limitations to care for themselves. But Britney's rough patch was many years ago. So why is she still under a conservatorship? Where do you see yourself in 10 years? I see myself in a big ranch with horses and two more children and my loving husband and that's it. She had the conservatorship. It was all started six years ago, almost six years ago. That's a long time and since then she seems to have her life on track. She was an X Factor judge. Brittany Spears. She is mentoring individuals, she's judging them, but at the same time, supposedly she cannot take care of herself or manage her own decisions, including food, clothing, and shelter. Which is Doesn't really make crazy. sense. Questioning why that lack of control has spanned for so long with no end in sight, Forbes husband and wife writing team Danielle and Andy Mayoris claim that the conservatorship is being used more as a business tool. It's reported the contract for her upcoming Planet Hollywood Vegas residency includes a clause that the conservatorship must be in place. There's millions of dollars at stake. And I think when there's so much money at stake, more people are concerned about what happens, not only to her, but to her assets as well. So the question we ask is, if she wasn't worth millions of dollars, would she be under conservatorship? The conservatorship has also shielded Britney from various lawsuits. An example of that was when her former manager, Sam Luffy's legal team, was unable to subpoena her into court to testify for a breach of contract lawsuit against her and her parents. She can't go through a deposition because she's not mentally competent. Another possible contributing factor as to why the conservatorship has continued is her custody arrangement with ex-husband Kevin Fennerlein. According to family law attorney Barry Weinberger, who has not worked with Spears, visitation with her sons Sean and Jaden could be jeopardized if she petitions for a termination. Under the conservatorship, she's technically not permitted to have legal or physical custody of the children. But she does have extended visitation, and we all know that she's spending considerable time with the kids, arguably 50% of the time or even more with her boys. Britney's boys were taken away in January of 2008 when her mental state collapsed and she was put under an involuntary psychiatric hold. News cameras captured the departure from her home on a gurney. Less than two years earlier, she showed deep signs of vulnerability when Britney sat down with Matt Lauer and broke down when discussing the lack of privacy in her life. What do you think it'll take to get the paparazzi to leave you alone? Is that one of your biggest wishes? Okay. I would like for them to leave me alone. You have to realize that we're people and that we need to, we just need privacy and we need our respect and, and those are things that you have to have as a human. With her life on a more positive path now, psychotherapist and host of VH1 Couples Therapy, Dr. Jen Berman says it appears Brittany is a willing participant in the conservatorship arrangement. I think that there is a real misconception by the public that a conservatorship is a bad thing or that it somehow ties the hands of the person who is involved. And I think in a case like Brittany, I suspect that she has access to what she needs, her needs are being met, but really what's being kept in place is a boundary so that if she gets out of control, if her mental health takes a decline, she's protected, and I think that's good for everyone. 